We'll take a look at tonight's Carolina Classic Fair player of the game. The Carolina Classic Fair second to none in 2021. No surprise, it's Folger Boaz who has really been the leader of this offense. Yeah, the leader, the captain of this offense. Holding his own, running the football, throwing it, slinging it all over the place. He has been the catalyst for everything his offense has done tonight. And a very deserving player of the game. Boaz with some pretty impressive numbers tonight. The North Carolina baseball commit. Here's tonight's Carolina Classic Fair player of the game. The Carolina Classic Fair, second to none in 2021. No surprise, Aaron Covington Jr. has been doing it all for the Red Raiders. Yeah, absolutely. Deserving of this award here tonight. We've seen him do it all, and we weren't really expecting that. We figured he was going to be a part of this ground attack, but taking some shots in the air. And finding Francis for the deep touchdown pass before turning it on here in the second half. Long run down that Parkland sideline and punctuating a strong night for the junior quarterback. Let's take a look at tonight's Carolina Classic Fair player of the game. The Carolina Classic Fair second to none in 2021. No surprise who it is. Big number two, John Gallette of Reagan tonight. Gallette, phenomenal. 31 carries, 131 yards. His only touchdown, that game-winning score as it's Reagan for the first time ever winning at East Forsyth, 22 to 18. And Hannah Brady down on the field is standing by with a happy bunch of Raiders as she hands out some hardware. Hannah, take it away. Here's tonight's Carolina Classic Fair player of the game, the Carolina Classic Fair, second to none in 2021. Guess who it is? Jaleel Melton shakes free for this big 61-yard pitch and catch in the first quarter. Oh, by the way, he has scored four rushing touchdowns tonight. There's his fourth just a moment ago. Big number 15, toting the mail a lot for this Grimsley club tonight. You talk about the player that's deserving of this award. Uh, that's him. Had a little bit of competition with his quarterback. Martin, let's take a look at tonight's player of the game. Brought to you by the Carolina Classic Fair. The Carolina Classic Fair second to none in 2021. No surprise who our player of the game is. Al Lee, the sophomore quarterback for Reedsville, taking the rest of the night off after throwing three touchdown passes. This the first to Cam Peoples. And then two more tosses appear in the second half, one to Jaden McCain and one to Quayshawn Flippin. It's been a little bit of both. Have his receivers go out and make some plays for him. And then in addition to that, just making plays on his own. Some really nice throws here in the second half, taking advantage of this Walkertown defense deep down the field. You see one of those passes right there to Flippin. Just a beautiful throw over the top. Nice touch. And I think it was pretty easy as this second half waned on. Al Lee was going to be our guy tonight. Lee finishes the night 10 of 20 for 197 yards, three touchdown tosses, 11 carries for 46 yards as well. Good numbers for Lee. Appreciate the work of our statistician Carter Hicks. Carter has a bit of a heritage game tonight. His family lineage can be traced just five miles from Walkertown High School. It's an electric player. Number 11 in white was doing it from the jump tonight. Not a whole lot in the second half, but really controlled the tempo in the first half. And of course, had that touchdown in overtime and a passing touchdown in the first half as well. So, Xavion Hayes, just a fantastic athlete. Saw a lot out of him tonight. A very deserving player of the game. Over 100 yards rushing for Hayes tonight. You mentioned that touchdown pass he threw on the flea flicker there in the first half to give North Davidson that 14-0 lead. And then the play of the game as we take a look at that tonight brought to you.